Hi, salam sejahtera. This is Kids Bricks, Mind Over Bricks, and Driving the Bricks. Hey guys, this is John, back from my break for a new review. In today's episode, we'll be having a look at my own creation. My idea for today is the supply ship to be used in space. In this build, I've utilized a unitary hull piece from set 60062 as the base. The rest of the supply ship is Lego built from the ground up. This ship holds 5 crew members, each with a distinct responsibility. We have the captain, the pilot, the engineer, the scientist and also the guard. From the left, this ship consists of the commanding deck at the top with the cargo hold underneath. The middle section is the crew quarters. At any one time, only two members are allowed to rest. And the final section of the ship is the lab and entrance. There's no engine room for now because of space and Lego piece constraints, but I will try to include in a future build. I've designed this to be modular so that I could improve each sections gradually over time. First up, we have the commanding deck. It's rather tight but I made sure I included distinct characteristics from movies and cartoons. Swivel chairs are a must, together with the control yoke and some fancy computers and dials for details. The captain won't be a captain without the coffee mug, for instance. Lifting up the commanding deck exposes the cargo hold. Headroom wise, it's not that much but a minifigure could well get into the cargo crouched. It holds a fair amount of crates and the crates themselves hold a fair amount of items. The crew quarters is a tight one. In the foreground, we see the stove to heat up foods and drinks over the long halls. There's a staircase at the back. Lifting it will lead to the cargo hold, and going up will lead to the commanding deck. Another angle shows the bunk beds and a small table at the far end. Starboard side is a clear view of the bunk beds. The engineer is resting for now. Another angle shows a toilet compartment next to the beds. Pray it's not too smelly to sleep. Ugh. Moving up from the stern to the bow of the ship is the lab and entrance. There are desks here for the scientists and the guard. They both work in tandem. The scientist does his research and the guard looks out for signs of trouble. This blast door protects the rest of the crew in case of a hull breach on either side. This is space after all. Pray it will never happen to anyone. The engines are also modular. I made use of whatever I had at that point in time. I used a lot of car parts like the rims and the bonnets to make it look like exposed thrusters. The chain is there to indicate some sort of unqualified cabling management, sort of. Connection wise, it's easily connected to the sides with the modified piece there. Not really rigid but does the job very well. Nah. So guys, that's my review of what I made myself. If I had more parts and more resources, I reckon I could better this tenfold. If I were to improve my design, I would make the structures from Technic Bricks and cover them with plates to maximize the space. Then I could utilize the entire hull to be filled with more details. So tell us what you think in the comment section below. I hope my build sparked some inspiration for you guys. If you have any queries about us, my own creations, other toys, or you have a suggestion, hit us up on kidsbreaks at gmail.com. We'd be happy to receive your feedback and comments. If you like what we're doing, hit the like and subscribe button. Until then, 